What is up, YouTube? It is Mr. Yanning, aka your future father, and finally, I have a new video up. It's been a while. I'm not sure how long it's been. I've just been trying to do this commentary a few times. I tried the other day, just wasn't feeling it, so I'm giving it another shot. And like I said in my last FIFA commentary, I've started a new team that is a Barclays Premier League team, and you know, I had had the Bundesliga team for about a month and a half uh, since pretty much FIFA came out, so two months, I guess. And uh, the Premier League is actually my favorite league in the world, so I decided I wanted to do a league with them. Uh, Chelsea's my favorite club. And at the very beginning of the video, if you want to go back and pause it, uh, you'll see my squad. I have a Jovinho. Yeah, Jovinho. Uh, sorry for that. Um, John O.B. Mikel, uh, Daniel Sturridge. Adam Johnson, you know, a pretty decent uh, Barclays League team to start off. And I go up against this guy. He's got a rare bronze, a couple of silver players, and actually a few silver players. And he's got uh, Edin Dzeko, who's a very nice striker who I've actually thought about getting. Uh, he has a midfielder, Jack Wilshire, and his goalkeeper is from Man U. I believe it's his De Gia or, De Gia or something like that. Um, I'm not sure. And you, you see right there in the highlights, I got I got the Kraken on my team. I, I got a John Anarise. Release the Kraken. Uh, got him on my team. And I I knew this guy wasn't too good. And uh, I, I start off the match by somehow getting a very lucky. Uh, Adam Johnson gets fouled right there. But it doesn't matter. Adam is going to go right through the D and pick up those loose cookies and put it into the back of the net. Goalkeeper had no chance. And back to that note about Jack Wilshire, I, I've been realizing the Premier League really has not... <laughs> look how I get upended there. The Barclays League really doesn't have any two good midfielders. Uh, I mean, they have like Michael Essien, you know, Jack Wilshire, David Silva, uh, Nigel De Jong, Michael Carrick or, Carrick or something. Uh, I mean, yeah, they have great like midfielders, like every, you know, Nasri. They have good midfielders. It's just that they literally have decent midfielders, like... 80, 78, 79, 81, but they're expensive, and the ones that are not, I mean, the ones that are very expensive, like like I've said, David Silva and Nazari, those guys go over like 40,000 coins easy, and it's I just don't have that kind of coins to pay for the midfielder, so I'm going to, if you look at, back at my team again, you know, the only good midfielder I have is uh, John Obi Mikel, but I actually have Steven Pinar, who's an 80, so... He was pretty good. He was a nice pickup that I got. But uh, I have a lot of 70. I have two 76 midfielders on my team. I don't know how that wasn't a foul, but you see Adam Johnson. I'm literally just going right through the guy's D, and I kind of did an unnecessary roulette. But it didn't really matter. I scored anyways, and then I do a little uh, karate kick to that guy's face. Everyone's celebrating my goal. So at this point, it was 3-0. Um, I don't know why this guy didn't leave the game. Actually, it was 4-0. Uh, apparently, missed one of my goals. And then... Uh, you see this uh, when I show someone else's highlight. You obviously know they're gonna score, and he's just gonna annihilate the ball with a player that I've never heard of. Uh, you've probably never heard of them, Danzi. He's got very huge feet. It looks like size 15. Um, and there it's 4-1. I can't even tell the minute it is, but I do a couple of skill moves. And like I've said, I kept getting very lucky in this game. Uh, like right there, he passed the ball back, and he had three players there, and none of them wanted to pick up the ball. And I felt a little bad about tramping that goal, but, you know, once you score, you're going to want to score even more to get those coins. So when I score, I'm going to score as many times as I can. Like, I'm not going to feel bad about doing that because I just want to get coins. And people obviously don't feel bad about scoring against me because I, I played a game the other day where I, I literally lost 8-1. to one. Um, I would put up that game just to show you how bad I lost because I actually I might have recorded it. So maybe I will put up the game. Uh, I wasn't sure if I recorded it or not, but yeah, I'll, uh, definitely think about putting up that game because it's very funny. Uh, you, you see how many coins I got? Two thousand. Not too many. Uh, not too many coins, but I wanted to. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just t checking out the team of the week. I wanted to, with those coins, I had buy a, a striker, and I think actually the striker. I didn't have Daniel Sturridge at this point. I had uh, Adebayor. And me just saying that kind of gave it away. I, I obviously needed a striker. Uh, my 4-3-3 four, four, three, three formation, excuse me. Um, obviously going to go for a gold player. Nationality doesn't really matter. I mean, English would be pretty good, but it doesn't matter. Um, league, obviously Barclays League. And then when I, when I look for gold players, I'm usually going to put the maximum price at uh, 
depending on how many coins I have, you know, I think I have like 2,300 coins here. I'm going to put this, the limit up to 2,000 or 2,200 because I just didn't, I wasn't going to buy any other players. So I was just going to buy this one player, which you can tell looking at him right now. I'm going to buy now Daniel Surge for 2,400. So, you know, when I have that many coins, or actually that's not even a lot, and I'm not expecting to buy anyone else, I'm just going to go ahead and buy Daniel Sturge for 2,400 coins. Um, I might have got a little chipped on the deal because I don't really know how much else he goes for because if you look at it, I only looked through about three of, three of the Daniel Sturges, which was my mistake because I'm sure I could have got a guy that was a lot cheaper than that, but it didn't really matter because Daniel Sturge is one of my favorite players, especially on Chelsea, and he is a monster. Um, if you guys ever watch Chelsea play, I, I think he's he's played in about eight games and he has like six goals. Uh, he is a monster. Uh, he he they only have him ranked 80 on this game, which is a total joke. Um, he should be at least ranked 82 because he's probably one of the best strikers in the Premier League, to be completely honest. And yeah, so. Ending that episode uh, on that note, just going on a little rant about Daniel Surge and how good he is. Uh, if you take a look at my bench players, you know I got some bronze guys on there because when I when I started off this uh, this team, I wanted to get a lot of bronze players so that I'd get matched up with people with bronze players. You know I could just build up my team with bronze players, but that didn't really happen. I got matched up with people that were like super incredibly good, uh, which was totally unfair. But yeah, that's the end of this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll have a new video up uh, pretty soon. Uh, peace out.